ulan dito silang ulan Kita kami sa ano Hayden Creek May party daw dito Sakay kami bus 30 pesos pumasahe Galing pala pala Galing naman sa amin 25 pesos Ayan na po tayo Ayan po Hayden Creek po Hayden Creek po tayo Hayden Creek po Ayan Ito na yun may pangalan may stoplight may crossing stoplight dito stoplight may kapasok sa loob may ginaayos pa dito <laughs> oh, aso na yan Ayan, may kamakanta baka dun yun Ayan, may kamakanta ayos na pull patay ka dun Thanks for this video. Why can I? Did it? Yeah. Why can I do the picture? Sa ano? Maga Kulo, kulo mo kulo Kumu kulo Kumu kulo Ay, si Sirayan Sirayan Kanina pa kayo? Kanina pa kayo? Masunod lang tayo Ay, ganda ng maga, Brad. Sir Lee. Pwede na maligo, sir. Pwede ba? Nakulo nga eh. Nakakatakot.
pressure lang ba yun? Ah, ganun umaga. Good morning. Dito pala kayo. Huli rin kayo, huli. Yan o, yan. Katalunin ko yan. Katalunin ko yan. Basta kamay lang sa akin. Oh, pagaling. Sobra galing. Eh, ulitin mo. Hindi ko nakuha yun ha. Eh, hindi ko nakuha. Sayang. Saan, saan papasok ako, Congressman? Bakit? Ay, said bakit ah. Uy, parang tulak. May kasama pang tulak, no? Eh, tingnan nga natin. Baka galing, ha? Na naiya, sir. Naiya rin, naiya. Ito, sir, malakas, sir. Ito yung malakas, sir. Ah, ito, ito. Picture! Picture doon siya. Ito ako din. Tama ako. Makuha yung ano niya, no? Hindi rin so. Uy, uy. Makuha yung... Ay, boys! Sir, kaya nyo doon yun, sir. Sama tayo. Sir, kaya nyo doon. Wait, wait. Ang laya! Wala pa naman dyan, wala! Ay, din creek daw. Kasi... May kirik doon dyan sa gilid o. May ano sa gilid. Ilot yun, di ba? Kirik lang. Ilog lang. Ilot? Yan, ilot. Ay, din yung kirik daw dahil dyan. Assumption ng nila yun. Bakit daw sinabing hay din kirik? Ito daw yung reason o. Ito daw reason. Bakit siya nating hiding creek? Yan. <laughs> Long ago, there was a small village on the edge of a river. The people there lived in harmony with nature and each other, and life in the village was good. One day, as a villager began his early morning stroll, he noticed that the once vibrant river was looking slightly murkier than normal and contained some sludge and pollution resting on the banks. The villager quickly went out of his way to clear the pollution and restoring the flow. But the next day, the same villager noticed two lifeless fish in the river, and both fish were scooped out of the waters. The following day, debris started to build up, and the flow of the river started to become constricted, cutting off water to the village. Naturally, the villagers organized themselves quickly, setting up watchtowers and training teams of swimmers and environmentalists who could resist the swift waters and dislodge the debris. Cleanup squads were soon working 24 hours a day to keep up with the increasing pollution. While not all the fish could be removed from the river, the villagers felt they were doing well to clean up as much as they could. Indeed, the village priest even blessed them in their work, and life in the village continued on that basis for many months. One day, however, a young girl was playing by the riverside and saw the pollution, and she looked off in the distance and turned to her grandfather, asking, where is all of the waste coming from? She then said, let's organize a team to head upstream and find out who is throwing all of their trash into the river in the first place. However, the logic of the community elders countered, but if we were to go upstream, who would take care of the rescue operation? We need every concerned person here. Don't be ridiculous. The girl cried, but you don't see. If we find out who's polluting the river, we can stop the problem and no fish will die. It is far too risky and we need all the help here, said the village elders. And so the numbers of fish found floating in the river continued to increase daily and the river just got dirtier. Several days later, the young girl decided to go upstream herself to find the source of the corruption. Upstream, she found a mountain of plastic from the building of a nearby village that was releasing chemicals into the once beautiful river and blocking up the waterways. 
She smiled to herself and began to remove as much as she could, and as she removed the pollution, the river returned to normal, much to the confusion of the other villagers. Ito yung kamatis dito, liliit oh. Malaki siyang puno ng kamatis. Pero tingnan niyo, maliit yung bunga niya, maliit. Tinog na yan eh oh. Yung laki oh, liit oh. Nani? O oh, yan, o oh, yan oh. O oh, yan, inog na oh. Liliit yan, maliit na kamatis. Ang bunga sa loob oh. Mga hinog na yan. Mga may kamatis. Oh, yeah. Ito kamatis. Ito kamatis.